Resident Evil, a series that suffered from an identity crisis time and time again. The game was known as a survival horror shooter that featured genuine terror and some of the most horrific and grotesque bosses of all time. Sure, the game may not have put quality on the map, nor do the older games translate well when it comes to modern times, but through it all, I was a Resident Evil fan. With the release of the latest title, Resident Evil 7, I got thinking, what happened to all the Resident Evil girls, at least the sexy ones? Sure, the game was supposed to be more terrifying, but what's the point of scaring my dick too? I remember the glory days of Resident Evil fan service. Women fighting brain-craving zombies in the most outlandish outfits, and all the while while giving me a satisfied full chub. It was those days that I remembered Sheva. Sheva hails from Resident Evil 5, a game that released in the previous generation when games actually had decent DLC or none at all. That was pretty much your two choices. She introduced us to Resident Evil co-op play and to her hulking partner Chris Redfield, who's able to punch through anything to literally make the mission complete. Resident Evil 5 holds a special place in my heart. Not that it was very scary or anything, but because it was the most title similar to the movies. And not those terrible movies starring Mila Jo... Jojano... Jovanko... Whatever her name is. It doesn't matter because we all know that I watch the movies for one thing anyway and she's definitely not one of those reasons. What's up guys, it's Nerecu, aka Panchero Tarashi, back at it again for yet another video. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at a gaming icon that is sometimes overlooked and underappreciated. I'm talking about Sheva. She's the real deal here, and let's be real, Sheva was fine AF. So without making things too awkward for you, let's go ahead and dive in in hopes that we can call her name for all the right reasons. Sheva! Sheva! Resident Evil 5 released on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC way back in the humble days of 2009. It released to much controversy, although it was pretty much well received by the gaming community as a whole. And let's be real here, it was well received by me, and that's particularly because of one thing, and that's Sheva. You see, Sheva was one thing that made the game worthwhile for me. Her stunning frame, sexy voice, and overarching assets made the game interesting. It increased my immersion and cemented Sheva as one of the best gaming girls of all time to me. Not to mention that her looks were a universal yes. I mean, if I remember correctly, everyone approved of Sheva. Sure, the character itself didn't have much backstory, but you know, if you were very interested and dedicated to the character, you went and read more. Sheva actually is a decent character when you read up on it, and it's a shame that Resident Evil didn't do a good job explaining her importance to the actual Resident Evil universe. Speaking of the actual Resident Evil universe, when the game released, there was a lot of controversy, and while everyone else was talking about racism and how bad Resident Evil 5 was to take place in Africa, I knew that Sheva silenced the haters. After all, she was an African woman slaying other African zombies. I mean, there's not much racism there when you think about it. It was a big fuck you to all the haters and a universal slap in the face to all those who still call us racist and bigots today. You see, Sheva is an agent for the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance in the West African branch. Basically, what this means is that they assess shit and figure out how to handle that shit. They get things done and Sheva is not new to handling herself or me for that matter. She was assigned to the current mission to assist Chris Redfield, who was unfamiliar with the area. A versatile fighter with extensive experience and with an ability to use firearms just as on par as Chris himself, she is much smaller and much more flexible than Chris, enabling her to perform certain maneuvers that Chris cannot. In turn, this allows Chris to throw up on high ledges or over large gaps in order to reach areas or objectives that alone you couldn't reach. I think this is a very interesting gameplay mechanic that introduces to a lot more versatility when it came to co-op gameplay. This was definitely something that was much needed at the time and I really would like to see it return. However, we do know how things go with split screen multiplayer nowadays and you know, EA is not gonna give us that. But basically when you go back and assess everything, it means that Sheva is a total package. Not only is she overqualified for a starring role in The Walking Dead, but she's also fun sized and we'll talk more about that later. When Sheva's on a mission, it means it's the real deal. The BSAA have assessed some shit and now they need it handled. Sheva is a true professional. She is shown to be extremely loyal to her fellow BSA comrades and quite knowledgeable on things. In Resident Evil 5, when Chris was planning on continuing the mission in Africa, Sheva tried to talk him out of it out of concern for safety. However, after hearing that Chris was in Africa not only to complete the mission but also to find his old partner Jill Valentine, Sheva is resolved to continue the mission with Chris. In the end, we can see a clear bond between Chris and Sheva develop. Their trust and camaraderie grows. Sheva becomes a source of drive and inspiration to both Chris and my dick. This is clear because Chris shows a genuine concern for his partner and she is more than just a guide for him. 
as we all come to see. Besides this, Sheva is a queen with a plethora of weaponry. Sheva likes to wield a bow, sniper rifle, shotguns, automatic SMGs, things like that, but we all know that there is a smaller yet deadly pistol known as the M93 Rodafica that she likes to finesse and finagle around maps. And it's not like it's uncommon knowledge that Sheva can even hold her own with larger cannons, if you catch my drift. Basically, it all boils down to the entire reason why you're here today. It's because I'm pretty sure that Sheva is the hottest girl in Resident Evil, because we all know Resident Evil 7 didn't bring us anything new with Mia, and we know she's not even getting close to Sheva's level. And with that said, we all know that Mia got those flat cakes, and it's a complete disappointment to see such high render quality wasted on such an ugly witch-ass woman. Sheva was one of the first gamer girls to actually ever qualify as slim thick. Her small, fun-sized frame is mostly made up of legs, and as we all know, she definitely knows how to rock them boots. Sheva was introduced to us in both a world full of zombie slaying and jiggle physics. This unique combination was not only amazing to see in action, but also immersive. Not only this, Sheva boasted a decent variety of alternative skins. Sure, her original skin shows off a decent overview of her supple yet delicate frame, but the fun is turned up past 11 when you see her tribal, business, or even the fairy tale skin. Oh, the fairy tale skin. Sure, there's that clubbing skin, but Let's be real here, that skin needs to just die. I don't know what they were thinking when they released it, but really? Really developers? A bob cut? What is this? This just doesn't do Sheva justice. Looking at her tribal skin lets us all know what she's rocking with. That loincloth left nothing to the imagination, and in stark contrast, the fairy tale skin is all the imagination you would ever need, if you know what I mean. Check out this one. I mean, like, seriously, Sheva, what are you doing to me, girl? What's going on with that low red riding hood, like, costume, man? Like, oh, I mean, damn, girl, why you gotta wear fishnet stockings? To fight zombies in fishnet stockings? Does it even make sense? I mean, I'm not mad at it. I don't, man, I don't even care anymore. I'm just not an incomplete and total approval. This happened back on the Xbox 360, and this needs to happen again. Don't even let me get started on that voice. You see, because Sheva hails from Africa, and apparently Southern Africa with that accent, her voice is posh and nice to listen to. She has a nice South African accent that sounds a lot like a British accent, and it's subtle, yet commands respect. It's a slightly airy voice that is heavy in, in the air effects, and, and each and every word flows from her lips and has such push and volume to it that it just, it just commands presence. I mean, like looking at the voice actress even tells a similar story. Like seriously, I wouldn't even pass on this one. And the artist behind Sheva's voice is even sexy as hell. I mean, like drop a like if you guys agree. While we're at it, let's go ahead and talk about some of her assets. Sheva is known in Resident Evil 5, or at least to me, for having the best cakes. I mean, who could argue with this sound logic? Sure, others have come close, but they don't take home the trophy. She got them hips them cakes and she knows exactly how to flaunt it. I mean, let's be real here. There's no need for a woman who's in combat, mind you, to stride like this. Yet Sheva finds a way to pretend that she is still on the catwalk. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't have to make sense. It makes sense to one of my heads if you know what I mean. Not to mention, Sheva can go from a amazing run animation to one of the most ridiculous kick animations you've ever seen. I mean, like, this chick is badass from top to bottom. I mean, everything she does has purpose and everything she does turns me on so much. I mean, I'm not trying to be weird here or make this thing crazy, but when you get that feeling, you know what I mean? Like, Sheva got it going on. On the other side of things, there's the, um, well, the, uh, the, uh, the Golden Globes. You see, Sheva suffers from a disorder called boobs. You know, boobs. Big, obese, objectifying, bouncing spheres. These goodies seem to take form depending on the skin chosen or depending on the artist's direction. Take, for example, her business attire. See, she seems well buttoned up and then, whoa, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, kids, and a happy new tear. Huh? 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 Each and everything is in balance. Everything knows its place. Sheva seems to practice perfect balance. Her ratio is on point, and I'm not mad about it at all. It's easy to see exactly what I'm talking about here, and you have to be blind or not have played Resident Evil 5 to see the goddess that Sheva was. Sheva has this thing about her, an outstanding feature that I can't seem to put my hand on. 
Chevy is great and was fine AF. And I mean, I long for the days when Resident Evil actually gave a fuck about character design. I mean, I'm calling for a petition. Hashtag make RE great again. Or in other words, hashtag make Resident Evil great again campaign. Filled with all the fan service dedicated to perverts just like myself. It's what we need, guys. We need to move beyond the days of the Resident Evil blockbuster movies, those abomination, and move into the comfort of a warm embrace by our beloved ebony lord and savior, Sheva. I know that deep down you thought about Sheva. In your most private time, you wondered about how she was doing. You contemplated going to Africa and finding your own little slice of Sheva heaven. Or maybe you're just a fan of ebony goddesses on Instagram like I am, at thickest on IG, at Clermont Twins at Lyra Galore at VPW Exotic Dimes for all your chocolate and caramel skin desires. I swear there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's about it. I, I, I can't keep it up any longer. Point being, Sheva was fine. Y'all know it. A lot of haters out there. A lot of people saying that Sheva ain't fine. A lot of people saying that Sheva's a has-been. You know what? They need to bring Sheva back. You know, when they do that, I will be a happy camper. Okay, well, special thanks to the artists who made this video possible. I'm not sure we would be here without their help um, and without their keen insight for good material. Also, thanks to the developers and the creators of such a dime piece like Sheva. I sincerely hope that we get to experience the tenaciousness that is Sheva again very soon. Maybe uh, Resident Evil 8 or 9. I don't know, man. But hopefully we'll see Sheva again soon. That's all I gotta say. And uh, a quick note about cultural appropriation. When I was researching some uh, material for this video, I saw a lot of abominations out there. So note to all the ladies who cosplay. Um, if you're not African or black or have a nice caramel complexion, Please stop cosplaying as Sheva. You look ridiculous. You look so stupid. I understand that Resident Evil costumes in general, but ideally Sheva's original skin is very easy to cosplay as. It's like pants, a belt, a gun, and like a freaking tank top shirt. But you look really stupid. You don't match what Sheva is. Or, or even worse, the people who are trying to cosplay in Sheva's tribal skin, that is an abomination in and of itself. And to all my flat ass girls out there with the flat asses, and to all my girls out there who um, don't have the, uh, how can I say this nicely? The face to play Sheva. I mean, Sheva has more on par with like, um, more of like a, a, a Rihanna, and uh, you are not a Rihanna. So please, please, please stop it. I mean, you won't see me out there trying to cosplay as Reinhardt, and there's reason behind that. I don't look like Reinhardt. I won't cosplay as Reinhardt. I'm not even big enough to be Reinhardt, so ladies, stop it. This is the <laughs> this is this is my chance to crush your dreams. And um, you can call me an asshole if you like, but I don't agree. My dick doesn't agree. The gaming community as a whole doesn't agree. If you got a flatty and you trying to play Sheva, you're more suited to just go play Mia. Like, let's be real here. Also, if you're not. <laughs> I mean, there's some good girls out there who could do a good job cosplaying Sheva because, I mean, like, the looks are on point, but you're just not tan enough to play Sheva. Why not play Ada Wong? Why not play Jill? What's wrong with that? Stay in your lane. I got nothing else to say about that. Okay, so, guys, if you're interested, go ahead and comment down real quick about who your favorite Resident Evil girl is. Please tell me it's not Mia because she ain't got a fatty. She got a flatty. We all know that. She low-key look like a witch, too. We all know that. Also, let me know um, if you guys like these types of videos down in the comment section below. And also by gently, ever so gently, tongue punching that like button. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe if you're new here. Obviously, because I make new cringeworthy content on a consistent basis. Once again, my name is Neriku, aka Panchira Tarashi, and I will see each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace.